But there's actually another, let me, there's another ENB I wanted to take a look at. Okay, remove. Evoc. You know what, let me load this ENB up. One of these ENBs had a kind of, uh, kind of a dark gothic feel to it. Yeah, I think it might be that one. It's not really one of the best ENBs, but, uh, because it really didn't seem to handle the color and light and darkness all that well. Okay, Skyrim, what are you doing? The other horses were flying. Yeah, sometimes, uh... And I don't know why it is, but there are occasions where my followers on horseback will be in the air for some reason. This one. Okay, let me uh let's see, let me take a look here. Let's turn bloom off. Let's turn okay, depth of field is off. And ambient occlusion, let's turn that one off. So yeah, this one also, uh, still does a drastic hit on the frame rate. Actually, this one is not really gothic per se, unless, like, maybe if I'm in an old ruin or castle, I get. I think that's where the, uh, but this is a very, uh, high contrast, high color ENB. So yeah, like I say, it's not really the not really one of my favorites, but uh, it's kind of an interesting one nonetheless. So this one is uh, doing too much of a frame rate hit. So let me go ahead and turn it off. There we go. I could probably use that ENB if I could figure out a way to. Uh, If I could f figure out a way to reduce the sharpness of the contrast. Unearthed. 